What's up, y'all? Spectre here. Welcome to the first video in our Horizon Forbidden West series. Just got this game. It released yesterday. Go ahead and go through the main story, the DLC, Burning Shores, which comes included with the PC version. I have been pretty faithfully avoiding spoilers. This game came out on PS5 a couple years ago, and as a standard with Sony, they don't really port it onto other platforms for a while. So I've been doing my best to avoid absolutely every spoiler I can possibly find. Um, all I know is that this takes place in California. The original game takes place in like Colorado, Utah, in the Rockies. Don't really know too much else about this. I know it's a direct sequel. I know the same, you play as the same main character, stuff like that. Uh, basically, whatever the release trailers were, I do I have seen those. But I've avoided any content story spoilers, so this is a fresh run for me. We'll do a webcam for this one. Uh, you can get some of the genuine reactions as we go through, some a little, little bit more personal. Uh, also, it's a damn good story. Or at least the first one was. It was so, so good. So, let's jump into it. We're going to go with a normal difficulty. I like to go normal. First time I play through a game, it just keeps it nice and clean. When I come back and do another playthrough on my own later on, I'll probably come do it on hard or very hard. But uh, I like to do it on normal. Gives the good, or, you know, in Halo, it was heroic. Whatever sort of difficulty the game is designed to be played on, usually when they call something normal, it tends to be that one. We're going to go ahead and do the Explorer difficulty or assist assistance not difficulty excuse me at some point i potentially may do a playthrough of the first game if not go look up a synopsis of that that basically that screen gave you what you need to know I'd like to point out that yes, my graphics are on low. My graphics card is barely compatible with this game. <laughs> I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead... ...it comes to nothing. the same dream. This is trippy. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. What is happening here? And for a moment, I feel whole. Red Vine. I'm always. 
voice left alone. What's in the bag? No. Oh. She did at the end of the first game, the epilogue, she visits Elizabeth's um, body. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Looks like I'm wearing the shield weaver armor. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So... What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After they built up a little bit of tension in the first game. Family, Not a lot, a little bit. I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. That's a good saying. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> Focus. Focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. In the first game, like, the entire reason your character was so special is because you can see. Come on. And so it, like, being able to read signs, being able to see weak points on machines, being able to analyze things, like, that it's basically a supercomputer. It's like having a smartphone HUD. Shall we? And it's one of the things that makes her so capable. So evidently she's found a cache of focuses, because for a long time hers, she never found another one besides the one that she has. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. All right, so. Uh, okay, it was V look like the ones in the sacred to bring lands. up the focus before. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Oh. There. Those oh, plants okay. by the stream should do the trick. Yep, this is the same as before. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel Alright. Alright, we should keep going. I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Alright. Yeah, good idea. Turn off motion blur so I stopped getting sick. Take up as much of this as we can. Evidently I can hold ten plants. Before it was, in the first game, it was like a, a bar. Basically, as you filled it up, it was equal to your health bar. So that as you filled it up, it was that much of your health bar you could restore. And then as you went, you could upgrade your pouch to hold additional bars worth. I think by the end of the game, you got four. You could say four bars worth of health. Up, up. Salmon blight. Wait. Wait. It's back here? There it is. <coughs> oh, whatever I just touched was slimy. I'll take your word for it. Red plants are gross. 
Very, very. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. Which ones? Okay, so zoom is still zoom. Uh, it's right mouse click. The satellite dish or way over there? What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. What the? Okay, so that just rolled me off. Yeah, I ran into some trouble on the way here. Code for you have none of your possessions from the first game. But I am wearing the Shield Weaver armor, which is uh, the best armor from the first game. It has an energy shield protection. It's left over from the ruins of the old world. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Sprint is the same button. Okay. I like it when controls are the same. Default your HUD is dynamic. It only displays information. Press H to view the full HUD. Oh, okay. So, top left is my health bar, followed by the quest log. Bottom left is my inventory. Or my hotkey, at least. Bottom right is weapons. And top right is XP and levels. That's all the same layout. Slightly different icons, slightly different um, outlining. That's to be expected. Better take a closer look. Yeah, the Ridgewood, this is okay. Ridgewood is the main way you make arrows. Just grabbing more medicine too. Never hurts to have more. Um jump is the same key. Okay, great. Tap the focus. Highlights everything around you. And then I can hold it to enter focus. In the first game, you just enter. There was no, there wasn't that pulse. So let's see here. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. You both have full quivers. What are you talking about? All right. Now to craft some arrows. Let's grab more materials. There's a ladder. But I can't reach it from here. Oh, this is the same. Okay. Um nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. So one Just so I craft in ten. Knock. Okay. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. Do that. Just checking for any little extra there's more ridge wood, we'll grab this. More resources never hurt. This game also is fun in that, um, oh, berries in the inventory. Let's stock up. Yeah, that's lovely. That was not a thing in the first game. When you maxed out your medicine pouch, you were out of capacity. Um, you never have enough resources. Always needing more arrows, always needing more something. What the hell? I don't know. The transmission. Oh. The uh, message. I it wanted to scan something. Say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. It was Varl maybe? Is that what so, it saw? Um, oh, what ancient apartment. Hello. After I left Meridian. Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. That plant, I don't know what that does. Oh. Why it's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Or fox. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. There was something lootable with the car. Oh. That's interesting. The blight hurts. Search the engine. Ancient chimes, keys. And then metal shards, which are the both the currency and primary crafting component of all of your arrows and other things like that. So you use a lot of shards. A few supplies. Grab more of this. Pry open this car. You weren't able to pry open stuff before. Ooh. Ancient bracelet and wreath, which is, you know, a watch and an actual bracelet. So I'm gonna pry open these. This is awesome. It's just 
Take all. Oh, take all is E. I can totally read. Oh. Need to open on these. No, there's more stuff over here, though. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to be going. There's an old van. Completely overgrown. Put another berry, some more Ridgewood. Actually, I kind of want to go this way. What's over here? More Ridgewood right here. Now, let's not walk in the blight now that we know it hurts us. I mean, it makes sense. I wasn't expecting it. And I can't shoot that ladder down, but I'll be able to drop it later, it looks like, maybe. Oh. Okay, that's new. How did I do that? There is a dodge button. Crack by sitting shards. Okay, double tapping the movement key. That's what I did. Just gather a bunch more ridge wood. This will come in handy later. I need to I like that's gonna do that. Yeah, okay, cool. Try open this car. And more bracelets and more shards. Run all the way back over here. Do, 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 do. Um. Okay, Q is medicine, E is the. Uh. There was a. Oh, cutscene. Cool. Oh. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. That's a new machine. Clearly an otter. Those dead machines have it all alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay. It's so. A, it's a weak spot. Right. Sound shell. Weak versus fire. Strong versus nothing. It's a recon machine. Alerts allies can tunnel underground and resurface unexpectedly. Weak spot is the eye. The sound shell. And the resource container on the back. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. Right in the eye. Oh, I didn't kill it instantly. That did. Cool. These other dead machines here. Can I loot these? Let's just search it. Take all. Oh. C is still crouch. Come on. What the? It just threw a rock at me. There's the eye. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Short pulses, highlight. Yeah, I already looted the bodies. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. I set out to find you. Head in just... Ridgewood pouch full. Shot this machine too. So that's a dead scrapper. Okay. Based on like a hyena kind of a thing. We'll find scrappers later on, I'm sure. Another ladder. Need to shoot off the lock. That... Um, where? Oh, over here. What? Requires a full draw shot. Okay. Good to know. Oh, let's... Nope. Craft some more of those. 
ammo and resource management is so very important in this game. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Uh, okay. Crouch under this. Oh. Ah, that is gonna really bother me. Oh, it's hold, not tap, but that's okay. God has protect us. We'll be okay, bro. Is this where I can kick this off? Yeah. I don't know when I'll ever come back here, but Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Far Zenith. That's new. I guess they want us to check in with them. Yeah, let's check in. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Okay. So let's mosey on through. What's this? What do we got? Valuables box. A wreath Please and a toothpick. For identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. Okay. There's another container like over either. here. Machine muscle. That's a new. You didn't get that in the first game. Oh boy. I should be able to pry this open. Let's go ahead and go through this door. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Let's examine the gear. Do we get anything from it? Here might have also shot those machines we found Wouldn't mind getting some new tools. Where are they now? No? Cool. What do we got here? More medicinal stuff. So we're up to 11 extra berries. Ridgewood pouch. That's right, it's full. So I don't actually... Ugh. What's that stench? Let's grab a little bit more. Entire camp. Whoa. I doubt. They're all serum. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Can I scan? I can scan that. We dislodge with pulling. Can't. The bodies aren't scannable. What else do we have over here? Training dummy. Some supply caches. Can I scan anything else? No. Is this still? Yeah. So yeah, so right click zooms in for your bow, left click just swings your spear. Take all of those. Chill water, that's good. It's basically coolant. Use it for cold weaponry. Let's examine the rubble. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Okay. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Got a little dagger, knife. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. There's our first new tool. Okay. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay. Same purple icons. What do we got in here? Acid burned right through his armor. Machine cable. So. Rope. Okay. Got we've got a rope for our pulley. I think we need either another gear or something. It's gonna be the other piece probably. What we got. We got. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. 
All right, I think I have what I need. And there's a workbench. Or is there gonna be like crafting, crafting in this game now? Use workbench. Oh, this is new. Before it was just like you'd crafting your inventory, like supplies and arrows and stuff like that. This is wild. Okay. So there are more things I'll be crafting. So the pole caster enables grappling. I don't hate that. And build it. Special gear obtained. There. Uh, pole caster. Oh, Jesus. Now to test it on the debris. <laughs> Okay, how do I use it? It's not a weapon. Uh, allows you to manipulate objects with a graded pattern. Okay. How? To wield it, hold this and tap E. Oh. Pull. Okay. Oh, throw it there. Mount on her arm like a grappling hook. All right, cool. That worked better than I thought. Oops. I mean, the camp's already destroyed. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. All right, I see a door there. Scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Okay. Huh. What's this thing for? That is a hollow projector. What's this? Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you. He looks like a Silicon Valley Mars tech bro. Smith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. Oh God, he is. Reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. So, okay, in the first game, Zero Dawn was the plan that ultimately worked, but they attempted to launch a colony ship and it failed. <clears throat> that was in the lore. They tried to launch the Odyssey. Not yet. Okay. Well. Scanning the area with my focus valuable. Might show me something. I'm stuck. <sighs> Grapple point. Be able to get up there. Wild. Okay. Wow. You still only able to go down before. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Uh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, same as before, you climb on yellow objects, okay. And the next one, and let me out. Thank you. It's not Assassin's Creed, by any stretch. Oh, okay. Good lord. I'll have to figure out how to dodge differently. It's probably control or something. Yeah, it's control. Okay. That's fine. I just can't have it be dodging me off of railings like that again. Oh. Jump to there. Barely made that, but okay. There was okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Nothing else up there? Okay. Oh wait, there's that. Oh well, too late. I fell. I don't feel like going actually. There you go, Varl. Thanks. I could go back. Got this right here. Question is, oh, do I get that? Hmm. Wait a minute. I don't know how I get there. Maybe later. This is cool. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. 
And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. Resurrected it. The government's abandoned in orbit. Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. What the? A serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. So. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their 300 way. years or a thousand years later. And That's the there, 400 years there, and then time to come back. The truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Yeah, he's just gotten dumped into late 21st century technology and information. The hard way.